Good morning. You're watching the morning news on CNN News 18. I am Anjali Pandey, and over the next half an hour, we'll take you through the top stories from across the country and the world. And we have some big breaking news coming in from the United States. Two of the vintage World War II era planes have collided and crashed at an air show in the U.S. state of Texas. Footage shows the aircraft striking each other at a low altitude, breaking one of the aircraft in half. A fireball also can be seen as it hits the ground. The planes, one of them being a Boeing B-17 flying fortress, were taking part in a commemorative air show near Dallas. My colleague Abhishek Jha for more details on this. Abhishek, are there any casualties in this incident, and how many people were on board the flight? Actually, Anjali, this World War II era airplane B-17 bomber normally would have six to seven passengers and two pilots and a crew, and that E-63 King Cobra is single pilot plane. So probably six to eight people might be on board when this collision took place. However, there has not been any confirmation yet as to how many people might have been killed because. We see the, uh, the video. There, there seems to be one ejection, a, para, a parachute ejection, also, but that's not confirmed. So we are not yet sure how many people were actually on board. But the incident looks so bizarre and so shocking that it, it's highly unlikely that anybody who was on board might have survived because of the kind of immediacy and the low level flight plane incident uh, accidents has happened because. It, didn't, it might not have given a pilot any chance or any factor of second to eject uh, himself or uh, to safety, and it looks like uh, most likely the people on board might have been, uh, you know, might have been killed. Uh, but we'll have to wait for the official confirmation as to how many people must have been uh, on board when the incident took place. Right, Abhishek. Please stay with us. First, let's listen into the CEO of U.S. Commemorative Air Force what he has to say on this incident. Listen in. At approximately 1:15 today, we had two aircraft flying. One's a B-17, one is a P-63. The B-17 normally has a crew of four to five. But that was what was on the aircraft, and the P-63 is a single piloted fighter type aircraft. Uh, there was an incident. It is being investigated by the, the uh, FAA right now. They'll turn it over to the NTSB at approximately nine o'clock tonight when NTSB comes on scene. FAA is the is the uh, on-scene commander until the NTSB gets here. The NTSB will be doing a very thorough and complete investigation, at which time they will release a preliminary report, which will be followed up at a later time, usually a significantly later time, once they do engineering analysis and interviews and everything like that, which will will follow later. So, Abhishek, how did this incident took place? Were there any security lapses from the Air Force side? Okay, so it looks like this Dallas Air Show week that was happening in Dallas, mostly the planes were flying uh, from Houston to that place, and this event itself uh, uh, terms it as, uh, as, as an event that uh, planes of older generation are showcased and in a show of entertainment and the uh, awareness as to what how the military planes the might was uh, were in, the, in the era of uh, World War Two. So. The two planes that have actually collided and crashed are believed to be at least 80 years old, uh, and they are not used uh, as, as a commercial purpose right uh, now these days. But uh, they are mostly used for uh, uh, those entertaining at air show purposes only. And uh, the the incident that we have just seen in which uh, at that time at least uh, uh, six to uh, ten aircraft could be seen flying in the air at very close uh, distances, and probably uh, in that moment only one. Pilot may have lost the track or something. It might have happened there. Uh, that C-63 King Cobra is seen just crushing into that uh, big flight forces uh, B-17 bomber, and within seconds, that bomber and both B-63 uh, are just on the ground in a, in a ball of fire, and it looks a very shocking incident because people would have expected this to happen, and uh, so, like. The deaths are not yet confirmed, but uh, a number of casualties can be. Uh. Right. Thank you, Abhishek, for giving us all those details on this horrific incident that has taken place in the United States.